My brother Dave, my younger brother, was killed in the Pentagon on 9-11. My uh, brother-in-law, who's a DC homicide cop, was able to do the building because he knew people in the FBI. Uh, and he told us that we need to prepare for the worst because um, nobody was trapped in the building. If people hadn't gotten out by then, or within the first probably four or five hours after the attack, people weren't, weren't coming out. Uh, I do this to honor my brother's memory and to honor all the people who, who died here so we, we never forget them and, and remind people about uh, what happened that day. So when you first walk in, that is the, uh, essentially the, the zero line. So you basically come up to and it's got September 11th, 2001, uh, the time of the attack, 9.37 a.m. The first couple of benches you see and you start to figure this out, if this is 2001, You'll see a 1998 age marker there. You start to figure out that this was the three-year-old little girl, Dana Falkenberg, who was on the trip with her parents and who died in the plane. And you can see that her bench is pointing toward the Pentagon because when you go and read the name at the end of her bench, you'll see the sky in the background, which signifies that uh, Dana died on Flight 77. This is actually my brother Dave's bench. Uh, it's on the 1961 age line, which signifies the year that he was born. And when I read his name and look and see the Pentagon in the background, that signifies someone who died in the Pentagon and in the building. The benches are also arranged according to uh, the flight path of the plane into the building. You're kind of oriented to where the plane hit. The designers wanted a place like no other because 9-11 was like a day like no other. So uh, it, it provides that for family members and, and visitors.